High Water Energy is Pisces, Cairns and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those crossover king. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether it is love or lust. So I want you to think of that special person, that special someone that you are involved with, okay? Whether you guys are in a relationship or in a connection of some sort or even if you guys are just loosely involved with each other. So we want to know whether this person has feelings for you. Okay, and whether these are feelings of lust or is it lust and infatuation. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So we'll go ahead, um, go ahead, sorry, give the cards a shuffle and we'll begin here. So we want to know whether it's love or lust. So once again, the reading is intended for all water energies. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. You guys have come up in reverse with the Three of Cups. Okay, so is it love or is it lust? I mean, there's definitely a strong passion or a strong sense of attraction here towards one another. Okay, especially with the Ace of Wands energy and the Page of Wands as well. I feel like for a lot of you, there's very strong sense of excitement and it feels exhilarating. For some of you, it feels new, like some of these feelings feel very foreign maybe you've never really felt this way about someone in your life before or maybe someone's in this person you know this special person has never has never made you um no one else has made you feel the way in which this special person has i get that these feelings are very strong very passionate strong levels of attraction a lot of passion here and i honestly feel like the two of you have definitely ignited some sort of spark in one another okay so there's a lot of sexual passion a lot of chemistry whether or not those areas have been explored but there's definitely, they've sparked something in you and it's important to know that you've sparked something in them as well. To me, the cards don't, don't necessarily indicate that it is love just yet, but doesn't mean that what you have isn't the basis for what could, you know, end up becoming a beautiful, loving, caring, stable commitment. Okay, so it has the potential because a 10 of pentacles tells me that what the two of you have essentially it is a very strong reliable healthy foundation for a friendship or for a romantic connection in the future so if you guys continue to build on that connection continue to invest in this connection give each other a little bit more time to really get to know one another um, and you know get to know each other's world here so to me it feels like what you guys have is definitely a very strong basis for a very loving, stable, committed, you know, loyal relationship in the future. But just yet, just for the time being, for a lot of you, it feels new. That's why I feel like the cards aren't, you know, saying it's love just yet. I'm not trying to dismiss, you know, the whole notion of love at first sight. It could be that for some of you. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is new territory. So this is someone that you may even be like loosely involved with because of the Page of Wands energy. He's a very restless kind of energy. This is someone whom you might have just recently met, or even if you guys have known each other for quite some time. I mean, you guys have been somewhat inconsistent with one another, okay? And that's not necessarily your fault here. It could be that your person has a bit of a fluctuating presence. There's this energy of like an emotionally scattered energy, and I feel like your person... I'm not sure that your person here is wanting a commitment, okay, I, or wanting a relationship or wanting to put a title or a label to it. I do get a sense that this is something that they're capable of, okay, so I'm not trying to say that they're incapable of, you know, entering into a relationship or giving you a relationship, but I do get a strong sense that this person may not be ready just yet, just because of that restless, flighty um, energy that I'm getting. But I'm also getting, I feel like for a lot of you water energies, maybe don't put pressure on this, okay? Maybe just really enjoy what the two of you have right now because I feel like it's, there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of 
exhilaration there's a lot of newness in this energy so maybe enjoy what you guys have build on what you have but you don't necessarily don't i mean if some of you need to have that title or a label to it okay i feel like this is maybe a conversation that you have to have with your romantic interests but for a lot of you i feel like maybe just enjoy the moment and see where that takes you okay if, if, if it involves in a relationship or something you know long term and uh stable then great or even if you just get like um you know you get an emotional experience out of it or you get some memories here because i feel like there's something there's definitely something here to be learned in the process and there's definitely something here to be gained if not feelings then definitely i feel like maybe you know uh the whole i feel like this person has i'm getting a spark okay this notion of a spark so for some of you no this person isn't going to be your forever person okay i'll talk about that card in reverse soon but this isn't going to be that person that you're going to write off into the sunset disney-esque style and it's probably not what you want to hear but i feel like given your current situation with them i feel like you know what it is right and what it is it's exciting it's fun it's passionate there's a lot of chemistry there and for some of you it's not going although the potential is there i don't feel like it's going to extend beyond that simply because i feel like your person is not ready okay sometimes you meet the right person in life, but unfortunately the timing is a little off or the timing, you know, seems to get in the way. So again, they're not incapable of it. They're just not ready for it. Maybe they feel like they have to build on a career. Maybe they have to, they feel as though they have to work on themselves, or maybe they still want to get out there, meet new people, form new connections, you know, do some traveling. There's a very restless energy to your person, which tells me that they're not ready. They may tell you that this is the very, this is something that they want. But deep inside, the energy seems to contradict this. And it tells me that they're not ready to settle down just yet. So for a lot of you, I do get a very strong sense that it may not extend, you know, past what the two of you have now. But I feel like what you get out of it in the process, this person is igniting something within you. They could be restoring your faith in love and romance once again. They could be, you know, restoring your faith in getting out putting yourself out there, you know, getting into the dating scene. They're definitely doing something for you. They're working wonders for you. So for some of you, although you don't necessarily get commitment or something, you know, stable and consistent out of this, I feel like there are definitely some, you know, um, positive developments that this energy brings into your life. And three cups is that, that biggest indicator that I get that the two of you are imbalanced in your energy. So although, you know, there is potential for, I feel like, something very stable and something very concrete, um, for a lot of you, for some of you, and probably for a handful, I feel like just because there's potential here doesn't mean that it's going to be realized. It doesn't mean that it's going to manifest in the way that you want. Because to me, with the three of cups in reverse, this is an imbalance, okay? Although you guys are compatible and the attraction, the chemistry is there, at the end of the day, I feel like you guys have two very different objectives and you guys just want two very different things from out of this. So there's definitely an imbalance. And there's also a lot of, I'm getting like an imbalance with your social lives as well. And I feel like someone here is more ready for commitment and is more ready to settle down whereas someone else here is you know still enjoying the party scene is still wanting to get out there make you know new connections as i've noted earlier the chariot tells me that i feel like you know so as long as i feel like it's so as long as this person is contributing to your happiness and not taking away from it, then I definitely feel like it's a good thing, even if it's not love and it's just lust or infatuation. Don't forget that love and lust feel very similar, guys, except the difference here is that, you know, when love, when the connection, the relationship starts asking of sacrifices, love meets those sacrifices and those demands and those compromises. Lust doesn't necessarily do so, but lust is important because it is the glue that keeps, you know, partners and people together. So don't dismiss it just because it's lust or just because it's just a strong infatuation. That doesn't mean that it can't grow into love. That doesn't mean, it, you know, it can't be a friendship that doesn't turn, that, you know, doesn't end up turning romantic. It doesn't mean that it or it ends up turning romantic. It doesn't mean that you guys, you know, what you guys start off as a casual arrangement doesn't mean that it can't necessarily eventuate into a relationship. So where you are does right now doesn't always determine, it doesn't exactly determine where, you know, the connection is going to be weeks or even months or even years from now, okay? So for a lot of you, the message I get is just go with it, again, provided that this person and this connection is contributing to your happiness here. Um, the Five of Swords and the Three of 
cups tell me that maybe there's some sort of scandal going around Do you and this person i feel like maybe there are connecting energies around you who may be gossiping about the two of you or who might be trying to oppose the two of you you could have family fam uh, family members or friends who aren't necessarily in agreement with the fact that you're dating or you're seeing this person or that you're allowing this person to take up a lot of your time even for some even if for some of you you know it's like a casual arrangement i get this like gossiping or i get even scandal for some reason around your connection or like people opposing it i feel at the end of the day you are the expert on your relationship and if someone doesn't necessarily agree with what you're doing Again, if you're not hurting anyone, and especially if you're not hurting yourself in the process, then it's your life, right? Anyone who's trying to oppose anything, I feel like you should, you know, you shouldn't necessarily allow their thoughts or their opinions to influence or dilute your very own. Because at the end of the day, if it's what you want, and again, if you're not hurting yourself or anyone in the process, you know, who's to say here? So anyone gossiping or anyone like, any scandals, anyone trying to oppose or even influence your opinion otherwise, you know, don't give in to the naysayers, basically. And with the Ace of Wands, I did mention, you know, there's a lot of chemistry, so a lot of passion, a lot of attraction. So right now, guys, it is feeling like lust. It does feel like lust. It feels like infatuation. But I don't want you to sit here and discount or dismiss, you know, the importance and the weight that lust holds in a relationship because ultimately it is the glue that keeps people together. So keep that in mind. And for some of you, just because what starts off as a casual arrangement or what starts off as a little bit inconsistent, it doesn't mean that it can't change in the future to become something more consistent, something more stable. It doesn't mean that lust can't grow into love, okay? But I feel like the strong message that I get for you now is enjoy where you're at, guys. And this is your reading, so thank you for your time and your attention. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out. I will provide you with my email address below. Otherwise, guys, just stay tuned for more of my tarot love messages. Thanks again. Bye for now.